I was not expecting that. But I want to thank you. I, I, I wish I had brought a gift to every one of you. But my gift to you today is the word of God. And I Amen. And I want to encourage you today. As we think again about bearing fruit for the Lord. Your pastor mentioned relationship and fellowship. Another way to put that is our standing and our state. Standing, standing, and state. State. And state. S-T-A-T-E. State. State. Do you understand what state means? Okay. Our standing is who we are in Christ. Once we are in Christ, we are in Christ forever. Now Christ Our standing will never change. When when God looks at you and when God looks at me, He sees us through the blood of Christ. And you and I are perfect in Christ. Romans chapter eight verse one. There is therefore now, there is therefore now no condemnation in them who are in Jesus Christ. That, that word now means a present state. Our standing and our state are two different planes. Our standing is in a present tense. Our standing is perfect with Jesus Christ. We are not condemned. But how we live since we are saved can affect our state. You and I can either walk in the Spirit of God or we can walk in the flesh. Not pleasing God. In Galatians chapter 5. Verse 5. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. The word of God says, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So we make a decision every day how we shall walk. Remember, we're perfect in Christ. But you and I are walking in a world that's filled with sin. And the world you understand that Satan is the God of this world because God has permitted him to have control of this world for a very short time. 
ஏனென்றால் தேவனே அவனுக்கு இப்படிப்பட்ட இந்த பூமியின் மேல ஒரு அதிகாரத்தை ஒரு குறுகிய காலத்திற்கு அவர் அனுமதித்து விட்டு வைத்திருக்கிறார் ஒன் டே சைட்டன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பீட் பை ஆன் ஒரு நாள் சாத்தான் செயலிலிருந்து கட்டப்பட போகிறார் சைட்டன் knows that his time is short சாத்தானுக்கு நன்றாக தெரியும் அவனுக்கு கொஞ்ச காலம் மட்டும் தான் இருக்கிறது and he is trying to carry as many people to hell with him as he can avve thanal indra alukku evlo vera andha nargathukku kondu poga mudiyumo avlo vera kondu poga mudichikiram he knows that you and i and jesus christ are perfect neengal naan kristu yesu kul poorna vaga padudathulla irukrom endru avanukku nandraga theriyum he knows that there is no condemnation in our standing with god namakku devanodulla andha uravile endha aakrithikkum endha kutram chaatapadathilum vara mudiyathu endru avanukku nandraga theriyum but he knows that in our state with god anal namudi aikiyathile andha nilaiyile pilugale yerpadatha mudiyum that you and i can do things that will displease god neengal naan devanukku priyamillada kaarigalai cheyyumbodhu andha uravile virusam varugiradha i mean i think the virusam varugiradha that's why he is constantly tempting us agave thana avan thorandhe kiyaga namak paava sodhanigalukkulle utpadithikonde irukkara he wants us to lose our strength namma namudi varatha maamsa prathinaala vaala vendum endru avan namakku thoondudalla kodukkara he wants you and i to lose the power that god wants us to have அதேவன் நாம் அடைய வேண்டும் பெற்றுக் கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிற தம்முடைய வலமையில இருந்து நம்மை வெளியே அப்புறப்படுத்த அவன் விரும்புகிறான் பாவம் செய்யும் போது நம்முடைய ஐக்கியம் இதாவது இருக்கிற நெருக்கம் இருக்கிறதே அதில விரிசல் வந்து நம்ம கொஞ்சம் அப்புறம் விலகி போய் வருவதற்கு அந்த ஆபத்து அதில இருக்கிறது யூ ரிமெம்பர் when Jesus was, was with his disciples in the upper room. மேல்விட்டரில அந்த கடைசி ஒரு ராபோஜனத்திலே இயேசு சீஷர்களோடு கூடி இருந்த அந்த நேரத்துல we talked last night about John chapter 15 போற அந்த நேற்றைய இரவில் யோவான் இப்ப எடுக்க வேண்டாம் யோவான் பதில் தர தியாதி கொடுத்து அந்த சம்பவத்தை நாம வாசிச்சோம் all of these things occurred in the upper room that night நாம நாம பார்க்கும்போது அந்த தியானித்த அந்த காரியங்கள் எல்லாமே அந்த ராபோஜன பதி அதுக்கு முன்பாக மேல்விட்டரில நடந்து before jesus So I spoke about the vine and the branches. Yes, Christ and the trachy chedi kodi in the womb again the satyate avarku vilaga panuvathu munbu he stood and washed the disciples feet. Avar paathirathu eduthu shishrukke paathai kaluguna. You remember that story. Ungalukku sambhavangal ella nandraga theriyum. Do you remember what happened prior to them going into the upper room? And the men went there to go to the munbu enna nadandathu endru neenga konja nenivil pen nerkondu vandu paathu. Let me give you an account of what happened. என்ன நடந்ததுங்க குட்டி சுருக்கமான இப்ப உங்களுக்கு சொல்றேன் as they were walking along the way அவர்கள் வழியே நடந்து போய் கொண்டிருக்கும் போது they had argued among themselves who would be the greatest in the kingdom of god ஒரு வாக்குவாதம் வந்தது தங்களுக்குள்ள எவன் பெரியவனா இருப்பான் என்று அவர்கள் வாக்குவாதம் பண்ண ஆரம்பித்தார்கள் do you remember the john and james mother had come to peter உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா யோவான் யாக்கோபா அவருடைய தாயார் பேதுருமை வந்து சொன்னாங்க ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பத்திலே யோவானுடைய தாயார் யாக்கோபா அவருடைய தாயார் யோசிக்கிட்ட வந்து என்னுடைய குமாரர்கள் ஒருவன் வாழ்ந்து வைக்கும் ஒருவர் மக்கள் எழுந்து வைக்கும் உட்கார்படி நீர் அருள் செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று கேட்டுக்கொண்டார்கள் அந்த இரவுல சீஷ்வரன் மத்தியிலே ஒரு ஒரு பேதம் ஒரு கருத்து வேறுபாடு உருவாக ஆரம்பித்தது அந்த காட்சியை உங்கள் மனக்கண்கள் முன்பாக நான் தெளிவுபடுத்த விரும்புகிறேன் When they went into the upper room that night அந்த இரவு அவர்கள் அந்த மேல்விட்டருக்குள் பிரவேசித்த போது on the on, on the normal occasion there would have been a servant there to wash their feet சாதாரணமான நிலமில yeah On, on most occasions when you enter into the home of someone there is a servant to wash your feet pavarva pena oru oru veetukulle pravesikkum bodhu kaalai kalivu vittu ullai nadigira oru valakkam namakku irukku you remember the room had been prepared that night for the uh, for the meal of Christ you remember how that was ungalukku nenai irukkum andha arai melvitarai raabojanathukaga aayitha padapatirukku adu eppadi irukkum endra nam ungalukku theriyum i'm just giving you some bible சில உங்கள் நினைவுபடுத்துவது தலசல காரியத்தை சொல்லுகிறேன் 
and he would show them where the room would be prepared. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Okay. So they go into the upper room that night and the room is already prepared for the meal. They knew that their feet need to be clean. But there was no servant to clean their feet. And rather than one of the disciples stooping down and washing each one's foot of each other's feet. Each one of those disciples went beyond the door and went and they sat in a reclined position. They would not wash their brother's feet. They refused to humble themselves and wash their brother's feet. Remember, they wanted to be the first in utmost positions in Christ's kingdom. They had their heart set on sitting on the thrones with Jesus Christ. They did not have their heart set on being a servant. So therefore they went and reclined at the table. And Jesus never said a word. Jesus never said a word to them about it. Yes, so Christ had the meal with the past, uh, had the meal with the disciples that night. And every disciple in that room knew that their feet were not washed. And those disciples had refused to wash one another's feet. You understand that? So what our Lord did was He got up from the table He stood up. He lay aside his garment. And he girded himself with a towel. He, he took the basin of water. You understand that the water and the towel were already there. But no disciple had taken it. So the Lord Himself took the basin of water. And He went to His disciples. And He began to wash their feet. You remember what Peter said? No, Lord. You're not going to wash my feet. Jesus said, if I don't wash your feet, you have no part in me. What Jesus is saying, remember? Peter said, oh, Lord, not my feet only, but wash me all over. Jesus said, you don't need cleansing all over, you just need your feet clean. Now, you know, 
You understand what he's saying? Peter's standing was good. But his state was not good. He was not in fellowship with his brothers. He was full of pride. They were full of pride. Jesus said, I did not come to be ministered to. Jesus said, I did not come for you to minister to me. But he said, I came to minister to you. He demonstrated, if you would, what a true servant is all about. And then he told his disciples to go and minister to others. That's what God wants us to do. So when we walk through this world of sin, sometimes the filth of this world will get on us. And it will cause us to lift ourselves up in pride. We will see something that needs to be done. Just like those disciples saw that they need, they knew, they, they knew that someone should have washed someone's feet. But because of pride, they refused to do it. And it affected their state with God. When we, we can come to church and we can hear the word of God. We can go out of the house of God full of the Spirit and walking in the Spirit. And yet at the same time we can choose not to please God. And when we do that, it makes us dirty. We can come back to the house of God. After we've gotten dirty in the world. We can see something that needs to be done. We know that it needs to be done. Just like those men knew that they should have washed one another's feet. They should have washed another's feet. But we refused to do it. We come into the house of God. And we come and take our place and we have a seat. We know. That's what Jesus had done. He had, he had been with him. He had failed. And we know that the windows need to be open. We know that it's going to be hot in the house of God. We know that the fans need to be turned on. We know that the floor needs to be clean. We know that these plants need water. We know that we know that these plants need water. 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 We know that
should be in order. Everything needs to be in place. All the chairs should be in position. All the tables should be in position. And we know that. 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 And we we come and we take our seat. And we, and we ask God to feed us. We ask God to bless us. But we cannot receive a blessing. Because our feet are dirty. But we need to get blessed. But we need to get blessed. Our state is not good. Our state is not good with God. And it's not good with each other. We think and say in our heart. Let somebody else do it. I did it last week. I'm going to go to the I swept the floor last month. It's time for somebody else to do it. I'm tired of doing everything around God's house. I'm tired of doing everything around God's house. Don't you think God gets tired of us? Yeah. But God loves us. And God forgives us. And God gave His Son. Not only for our salvation. But that we could keep our state right with God. Jesus said, yes, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Folks, we need our faith to be clean. That's not just once a week. That's not once a month. It's not once a year. Sometimes we need to have our faith clean throughout the day. Sometimes we let ungodly thoughts enter our mind. See, Satan shoots in those fiery darts. Sometimes we get up in the morning. We have on the helmet of salvation. And that's all we have. Some people are saved only. They got on the hill of salvation. But far as the other parts, they're walking around naked. They don't have the soul of the spirit. They don't have the shield of faith. The Lord are not girded about with truth. Their feet are not shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. They're just saved. And that's a shame. It's our job. It's your job to take the shield of faith. In the survival of the territory, this was an character to put it in a number of years. Tani put the poor put in a very other than that. Say, Mata. To have the sword of the spirit. Are we in particular with the Namuni work? Which is the word of God. Are we able to give us another party? We're to have our faith shot with the gospel and the preparation of faith. This was an association in Satyam in Grahai, Asatit and Haidal and Grahpada Chief. We're to have our Lord's girded about with truth. Satyam in Grahai, Arika Katirum. 
then you and I ought to be ready to do battle with Satan. When he sends those fiery darts of doubt in, we're to quench him with the shield of faith. That's how we keep our faith clean. Now, if we're going to bear fruit like we said last night, we have to keep our state in the right place with God. Because everything that we do for the Lord, He's faithful to reward us. Last night I mentioned the Bema seat of Christ. I want to discuss that for just a moment this morning. I want you to understand that one day we'll be judged before Christ. For how we lived since we've been saved. In Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14 and verse number 10. Romans 14, 10. And, and, this, and this is speaking of what we're talking about today. See, they were judging each other. Those disciples were judging each other that day before they went into the upper room. Maybe Peter said, I'm better than John. Maybe, maybe James said, I'm better than Peter. I'm not going to wash his feet. I washed his feet last time. It's time for him to wash mine this time. You understand they were judging each other. Okay, Romans chapter 14, verse 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou say it not thy brother? What right do we have to be critical about our brother? We have no right to judge each other. And for the same reason, we have no right to judge each other. 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 We have no right to judge Stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Remember now, he's talking to believers. When, when the Apostle Paul identifies himself with believers, he says, We, or you, or ye. That lets us know that he's talking to believers. We, you, you, they, them, that's unbelievers. When, when Paul speaks of they or them, he's talking of unbelievers. So what he is saying is we, all believers, we are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Okay, turn over to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. I know the Adam. For we 
Corinthians 5, verse 10. For we, he's talking to believers, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse number 10. Uh -huh, verse 10. Five, okay. Verse number 10. Yeah. For we, appear before the judgment seat of Christ that every one as individuals may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done whether well, it's good or bad you understand what he's saying we are going to be rewarded for the things that we have done in our body that means in our life but what we do in our body is what we are that's who we are how we conduct ourselves see that goes back to the branch the branch how the branch produces well, there's good fruit or bad fruit. Well, in our body, it's good works or bad works. Well, in our body, it's good works or bad works. Well, in our body, it's good works or bad works. See, that's why it's so important that you and I walk in the Spirit of God. Because we can do good deeds for the Lord. You and I ought to be looking for things to do for the Lord. Certainly in the house of God. And even out in the world. When we come into the house of the Lord, we ought to see if there's something that needs to be done. Is everything in place? Pastor, is there something I can do to help you? Is there someone I can go and visit for you? Is there anybody in this church that's sick that needs prayer? Can I pray for them? Can I tell them about the Lord? 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 Do you understand that fire means the judgment of God? You understand that? Do you understand when, when John saw Jesus in the book of the Revelation? That his feet were like brass or bronze and they were like fire. <laughs> 
அவருடைய பாதங்கள் உலகிட்ட வெங்கலம் போல அக்கிரிமயமானதாக இருக்கிறது என்று நம்ம பார்க்கிறோம் that talks about the judgment of god adhi devanudi nyayathi pimukkarathai kurigiradu he is going to judge our works and he will reward us avar nammudi kriyagalukku nyayam thittu thakka poradhai namukku tharuva and he is going to give to you and to make crowns for the work that we've done now say the kriyagal ketchapadi avar oru kuriya oru kriyathai avar namukku tharuva i want to talk about four crowns real quickly nilathu sikrathile naan naangu kriyagalai pachu ungalukku solla vendumai in first corinthians chapter 9 போராடுகிற <laughs> Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. அவர்கள் அழிவுள்ள கிரீடத்தை பெறுபடிக்க அப்படி செய்கிறார்கள். Okay, he's talking about men and women. இங்க ஆண்கள் பெண்கள் அவர்களை பற்றி அவர் சொல்றார். He talks about how they were to run a race. ஒரு ஓட்ட பந்தயத்தில் வெற்றி பெறுவதற்கு அவர்கள் எவ்வளவு பிரயாசப்படுகிறார்கள் என்கிறது அவர் உண்மையா சொல்றார். You remember Paul talked often times about Uh, the games or the great games greek naatle palathukal irundha vandha vilayathukalai oppumai padithi paavu keludra he gave us examples of things that he could we could identify with nammai nammudi vaarkkoru porthi paathathukku udharanamaga andha vilayathai avar anga oppumai padithar he said i box or i fight நான் அவர் சொல்றாரு நான் ஒரு என்னோட மார்க்ஸ்ல அடைப்பதற்கு நான் ஒரு யுத்த புருஷன் போல போராடுகிறேன் not just beating the air காற்றை ஆகாயத்திலே சம்பவம் பண்ணாதவனாக அப்படி சொல்றாரு but prepare himself ஆனாலே என்னைய அதிர்ச்சி படுத்தி கொள்ள கீழ்படுத்துகிறேன் you know what the olympic games are the olympic games அவங்க ஒலிம்பிக் விளையாட்டுகளை பற்றி நமக்கு தெரியும் they came from the greek அது எப்படி வந்தது தெரியுமா கிரேக்கர்களுடைய இந்த பழக்கத்திலிருந்து தான் வந்தது those games were taken place in paul's day அந்த விளையாட்டுகள் எல்லாம் பவுலனுடைய நாட்களிலே புலத்தில் இருந்து வந்த விளையாட்டுகள். And that's what he was identified with. ஆகவே தான் அதோடு தன்னை அவர் பொருத்தி கொள்கிறார் அடையாளப்படுத்தி கொள்கிறார். Just like the Olympic games today. இன்றைக்கு இருக்கிற ஒலிம்பிக் விளையாட்டுகளை போல. He can get up early in the morning. மக்கள் என்ன செய்றாங்க விளையாட்டுல பங்கு பெறுகிறவர்கள் அதிகாலையில நேரத்துல எழுந்து they do all types of strenuous exercises. எல்லா உடலை சூடுபடுத்தக் கூடிய எல்லா உடற்பயிற்சிகளை செய்றாங்க. They do this every day. ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் செய்றாங்க விடாம செய்றாங்க for years and years பல ஆண்டுகள் அந்த பயிற்சியில அவங்க ஈடுபடுறாங்க for the hope of being selected to go to the olympics எப்படியாவது ஒலிம்பிக்ல விளையாடுவதற்கு தகுதி பெற்று விட வேண்டும் அல்லது பங்கு பெற்று விட வேண்டும் என்கிற நம்பிக்கையோடு அதற்காக பல வருடங்கள் ஆயத்தப்படுகிறார் they they give their life to exercise and preparation அவங்க வாழ்க்கையில அந்த ஆயத்தத்துக்கு அந்த பயிற்சிகளுக்கு முற்றிலுமாக ஒப்பு கொடுக்கிறார் to receive a little crown ஒரு சின்ன கிரீடத்தை ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு சின்ன பரிசை உலகத்துக்குரிய ஒரு கோப்பைய கிரீடத்தை பெறுவதற்கு அவ்வளவு முயற்சி and paul stay it was a little woven crown of olive leaves and 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 paul stay it was not a gold medallion or a silver medallion or a bronze it was just a little wreath of woven olive leaves and they were Place place it on the head of the victor. Paul only not to lay big into my tanga for the camo, Vilio, Vindamo, a pretty but a paranga, the other three and four of them, other Ali, Vilio, Vinale, Sutra, but the other or Argana, Vida Mark. And this is what Paul is speaking of in 1 Corinthians 9 25. You read the Apostle and Paul who took the Romba, the Arbu, the Indagasan, the Mekol Kantagra. They strive, they exercise, they work out. அவர்கள் கடினமாக பிரயாசப்பட்டு உடலை வருத்தி அதற்காக அந்த கிரீடத்தை பெறுவதற்கு அவ்வளவு பாடுபடுகிறார்கள் அழிவுள்ள கிரீடத்தை பெறும்படிக்கு அவர் அப்படி செய்கிறார்கள் அழிவுள்ள கிரீடம் என்றால் அந்த இலைகள் எல்லாம் வாடி உதிர்ந்து வறண்டு போய் ஒன்றுமில்லாம ஒரு காலத்துல நம்ம தலையாண்டு போடுற மாதிரி மாதிரி வாடி போயிடும் அதற்காக அவர்கள் பாடுபடுகிறார்கள் If I do all that work to receive a corruptible crown, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, what what should you and I do to receive one that will never fade away? I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I am really full of my own strength, or I do all that to prove that I
the next, uh, the next thing we found is a crown of righteousness in 2 Timothy chapter 4. There is the crown of righteousness. In 2 Timothy chapter number 4 and verse number 8. Henceforth, he says, this is Paul again. There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Which the righteous judge shall give me. At that day. That is the day he stands before Christ at the beam of judgment. That's another key to the beam of judgment at that day. Paul has not received the crown of righteousness yet. You see, you receive a crown of righteousness for serving the Lord. And God keeps good records. You understand that? Everything that you do, God is faithful to bless you for it. Paul is dead. But he has not received the crown. Because Paul is not finished working. Paul has not finished his work. You say Paul died. Yes, he did. Paul wrote 23 of the New Testament books. The works that Paul did are continuing to bear fruit. I want you to understand that. When you die, it's not the end. You can live a life to the Lord. You can do things for the Lord that will continue to bear fruit until Jesus Christ calls us up. Do you understand that? Do you understand that the thief on the cross is going to receive a crown of righteousness? Do you understand that the thief that died that day with Christ is going to receive crowns in heaven? You say, how can he receive a crown? He died almost 2,000 years ago. Let me ask you something. How many people have given their life to Christ because they heard of the thief on the cross receiving salvation? How many times has a pastor gone into a hospital room where someone's dying? How many times has a man or woman been sick in the hospital at the point of death? How many times have they said to a pastor, Preacher, I've wasted my life. It's over. I can't be saved. It's too late. And how many times has the pastor said it's not too late? The thief on the cross gave his life to Christ just a few moments 
a few hours before he died. Sir, we are talking about the Kerala border manna to the Kerala border. Our people are here. 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 With his testimony, and the marriage, the marriage, the Indian that we saw, she now is carrying out the border crime. Our Indian girl will not be found. There is a crown of righteousness, and the Indian girl will not be found. Which is laid up for me at that day, and the Nadi will not be found. And not for me only. Yet not for me only. Yet not for me only. But for all, all of them, all them, also that love has appeared. Aurori baru pasalnya malam ni itu baru tu kerja yang awal tu, hari tanggal dua puluh. You and I should strive for the crown of righteousness. Ninggal nara mana ni dia kerja dia percuma dia. One more, another crown is found in James chapter one. Inno lu kerja dia percuma dia. Yang kau buat orang tu dia kerja dia kerja dia. It's called the crown of life. Jiwa kerja. James chapter one. Yang kau buat orang tu dia kerja dia. Verse number twelve. Panjang dua puluh pasal. Blessed is the man that is, that endures temptation. So when he is tempted, man shall not be moved. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Our Nuttavarin de Brandi of Bimbu, Kattar Tamil de Rambu Guru de Tuvaku Pani Na, Jeeva Gride de Peruwa. When you and I resist the temptations of death. Ini sahaja orang lain, ni orang mana, semua orang ini hidup di negeri kita, pora tak lagi, hidup di jeki kita. When we live a life pleasing to God with the shield of faith. Wiswasan itu kerana kita perit terbelaga anda. Yutan kita ini adalah kita untuk kat teruk peniman untuk buat kau ada bodi. When we resist the devil, pisah kita ini kita untuk bodi. And live for Jesus. Yes, suka tu guru dia, bayar apa kita buat tu guru. By by our faithfulness to God, dia akan terima kita untuk umum ini berat dan beri apa kita buat tu bodi. We are promised for trial of life. Nama ke waktu tetap mana perlu kerja tu, jiwa kita perlu kita perlu bodi. Which the Lord has promised to them that love Him. Apa orang itu telah anggu puru orang itu ke waktu tertentu mana nak cipta kerja, waktu tertentu mana perlu tu, puri pada kita perlu cari. The last cry I'm going to speak of. Kadai siapa orang kerja tu perlu nak solat berani. First Peter chapter five. Orang itu pernah ingat tu dikata. Verse number four. Nangga tu sedem. He's talking to the pastors. Pastor itu, main pun itu apa saja. He talks to the pastors about this one. In the area that we make for the money to us, sir. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, that's Jesus Christ. After this, God, for the man make for the body, that is Jesus Christ, the Lord of God. Let me remind you, back in verse number one and two, he talks about the elders. Marudi mulai nyawa pada orang mana mudah dengan dewasa nak kerja. He's talking about the preachers. He's talking about the pastors. He's talking about the pastors. Pada pada kerja seperti persegi mana kerja seperti ada sulit. He said that we're to feed the flock of God. Awak nak mandi di meja kerja ni? It's our responsibility to take care of the household of God, the pastors. Bahasa Inggeris, kerja orang ni buat tadi, bicara itu, nada tu kerja orang ni. We're to be good examples, he says in verse number three. Muda tu sangat le, so ni kerja awak ni mandi ki mandi ni kerja apa? Utara nama apa? Muda tu. He said when the chief shepherd shall appear. Awak ni awak sangat le, awak sihir kerja, perdana menteri orang ni boleh buat. You shall receive a crown of glory. Ninggal orang mandi main di dalam tempat ni kerja orang boleh. The faith is not away. Ada wadah ada mahu main kerja. Don't receive a crown of glory. The pastors are. Aja lalu main perkataan dengan ada lekari tu. Look at Revelation chapter number four, real quickly. Cikir mata yang beri perkataan nanda tu dikata tu berbo. And this is for the believer. Ini adalah keiswas kita dah nabi. Okay, about the crown now of glory. Mahu main kerja. Revelation chapter four, verse number ten. Nanda tu yang pertama tu sebelum. Because I has kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Let's talk about the tribulation. Four and ten. Revelation. Oh, excuse me. I was on three. Revelation four and verse number ten. Nanda tu yang pertama tu sebelum. Two ten. I'm sorry, brother. I'm looking at one place. Yes. Nanda tu yang pertama. Revelation. Two ten. Two ten. Okay. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Talking about temptation or persecution. Ubat dalam kalai, padu kalai putih dosan suruh kita tu. Ni pada pol kalai padu kalai putih, yang pada umpai pada tu. He said, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. Ido, ni kalau suruh kita padu umpai pada tu. Bisa sahaja umpai kita suruh kita kawal ini padu tu. And that you'll have temptation for ten days. Pada nanti ubat dalam kalai ni. He said, Be not faithful unto death. 
ஆகிலும் நீ மரண பரிகந்தம் உண்மையாயிருக்கிறது of a crown of righteousness needing freedom now to walk the path of the if you and i who walk in the spirit of god நீங்களும் நானும் தேவனுடைய ஆவியினாலே நடத்தப்படுவோமானா if we will please the lord in everything நாம் செய்கிற எல்லாவற்றையும் ஆண்டவரே பிரியப்படுத்தும் போது as we close the service today இன்றைக்கு நாம் இந்த ஆராதனையை முடிக்க போறோம் we go into the table of the lord correct கத்தரி பந்தியஸ் கத்தரி பந்திக்கு நேராக நாம் நடந்து போறோம் The apostle Paul said I received of the Lord that also which I delivered unto you. நான் கர்த்தருக்கு பெற்றதை உம் கர்த்தர் உங்களுக்கு ஒப்பு கொடுக்கிறேன். And now in other words what he said came from God. அங்க என்ன அவர் சொல்றாரு அதை அதை நான் கர்த்தருக்கு பெற்றேன். I received of the Lord that also which I have given unto you naan kartharukku petru kondadhai ungalukku oppukiren that the lord jesus the same night he was betrayed kartharaagi yesu thaan paathi kodukapatta andru raathriyil to pray and he break it avar appathai eduthu adai pittu and he gave thanks avar sotram panni he said take it this is my body which is broken for you ungalukku kodukapadukiren me sairama irukkirathu endru and in like manner he took the cup also apadiye avar bodhana panna varumbu paathirathai medithu and he said this cup is a testament in my blood in the paathram en rathathinal aagi pudhi unnadikkaya irukirathu this do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me neenga idai paanam panum bodhanam enne nenai purumbadi vechiyungal for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup aagaya inda appathai kushithi inda paathrathai paanam panum bodhanam you do show the lord's death to the cup kartar varumalavum avudi maranathai neengal therivikkireergal i want to say something this morning in the kaalai valile idu kutti naan sila kaalai solla varugiren that the lord's table is one of the most important events that you and i can participate in neengalum naanum pangu varakoodiya miga mukkiyamaana oru vishayam kartarudi pandi the two ordinances that jesus christ gave to you and to me ungalukku enakkum rendu kaarigalai adhai kartar namukku koduthirukkar kai eduthirukkar the ordinance of baptism the ordinance of baptism ah adhil gnana sthanam engra andha murimai adhukku pinna irukirathu and the ordinance of the lord's table அது அது மட்டும் இல்ல கர்த்தருடைய பந்தி இந்த ரெண்டையும் நாம மிக நம்முடைய கிறிஸ்துவ ஜீவிதத்துல ரொம்ப முக்கியமானது தவற விட கூடாது if you and i are saved we should be baptized நீங்களும் நான் ரட்சிக்கப்பட்டவளாக இருந்தால் முதல்ல செய்ய வேண்டிய காரியம் ஞானஸ்தானம் பெறுவது baptism does not save us ரா ஞானஸ்தானம் நம்மை ரட்சிப்பது இல்ல it identifies us with christ அது கிறிஸ்துவோடு நம்மை அடையாளப்படுத்துகிறது as christ died on the cross yes christ calvaryil therbi uyirai kodutha he was placed in the tomb avar kalarile arakamanapatta and he came out of that tomb victorious avar andha maranathai jayamaga viduthi kalarile undu uyirodu irundha when we are saved we have to follow christ in obedience to what about this நாம் ரட்சிக்கப்படும்போது கிறிஸ்துக்கு இந்த நீதியை நிறைவேற்றும் போது இந்த கீழ்ப்படுதலை அடையாளமாக ஞானஸ்தானத்திலே நாம் பங்கெடுக்க வேண்டும் நீங்கள் ஞானஸ்தானம் பெறும்போது என்ன செய்கிறோம் இந்த உலகத்துக்கு கிறிஸ்து எனக்காக என்ன செய்திருக்கிறார் அவளுக்காக என்ன செய்திருக்கிறார் என்கிறதை நீங்கள் வெளிப்படுத்துகிறீர்கள் வரும்போது கிறிஸ்துக்கு கீழ்ப்படுகிறது என்னுடைய கீழ்ப்படுதலை வெளிப்படுத்துகிறோம் we're telling the church that that we're saved that we're identifying with Christ now we're rich to put on and Christ would have to put on and give the sorry kudum kettu nam arivikirom we are saying i'm not ashamed of my savior now in rachagai kurithu oru kaalam vetkapade endru dhairiyama solugiradhu nadaya vaanana sam and when we come and we are put down into the water nam vandu thanniye moorumbodhu it's a picture of a sinner being put into the grave ஒரு பாவி கலரில் அடக்கம் பண்ணப்படுவதற்கு அது ஒப்பாக இருக்கிறது கிறிஸ்துவோடு கூட மறுக்கிறார் Dying to the old flesh, Padaya Mamsatthu Marnamadigra. Dying to the world, 
What do you do that? What it means by that is He wants us to invite the Holy Spirit to check our heart to see if we're clean. Adakah apa yang mana mahu yang beri barang itu yang kita kerjakan? Ia adalah untuk kita kerjakan. Awas ibarat kata, 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 ia adalah untuk kita kerjakan. Pada malam itu kumpul ada apa di kucing pada tempat tu, kami bawa ke dalam air kiri opera bagi orang berdua. We are to examine ourselves. Nama yang kami sodi teriye berdua. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Yang nanti nalar ini, abad teramai bosan orang berdua kerana kereta besar ini memang tidak dihidangkan dari hari nalar. Tanah ke arah kiri tu pun ada beri bosan orang berdua kerana. He said, "For this cause, many and weak, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep." He said, "Even the people who are not even able to do the right thing, they are not even able to do the right thing." He said, "There were many people who were sick." Under the words of the Lord, they are not even able to do the right thing. And the word "sleep" means that they were dead. And he said, "Not even the right thing." Not even the right thing. Not even the right thing. Not even the right thing. Had died because they came to the table of the Lord in an unworthy fashion. Kadar ini pandai dia, awal termaik pandu betul di nale, ane ager marah tu jadi biru kerana ager. He says in verse number thirty one, yet we judge ourselves, yet we judge ourselves. Upa diwara dosa sendiri, nama ini nama ini dah nikah dal, nama ni yang dia tu padu. We should not be judged. Nama ni yang dia tu padu, nama ini nama ini dah nikah dal. My God. For when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Now, nyai tirka paramodu, ulagar tori akini kulagar tirka paradori. Kadar alaiya sichko paradro. He said, "Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another." Ah, ya, in sabodar meeting, but bodar mana mana kuri paramodu, bodar ka bodar ka tirka paradro. When a man hunger, let him eat at home. Oru man pasiya yendar, am meetle sapra kada. That when you come together, that that. You may not come to that. You come not together by the condemnation. Yes. Now, if you have to get to the point where you are going to be, you will not be able to get And the rest I will set in order when I come. But the day will not be able to get to the point. Jesus Christ is coming. Yes, Christ is coming. Whatever needs to be done after His return, He'll He'll be right in doing. When Christ returns, He'll set everything in order. Our Marudi will do the Elamati Chi will do the Padua. But right now, you and I are supposed to have everything set in order. Ana lada kumundu na namuri yatra pule sari se yuvendi bhi kare lam sari se tu gula bhi. As we prepare ourselves today to receive the bread and the cup. Yeh dekhi na mita paatre tere pushi tere tere apna tere pangar tu po tu pangar tu tere mumba hai. Let's take time to bow our hearts and our heads before the Lord. Namuri yehi tere namuri yehi kare yu kare mumba siru ki paato. Let's pray this morning. Kala bade lela mujhe bhi po. Heavenly Father, Parlo Pidave, I pray that you will look back into our hearts today. Inre ki nee inre ki irdi kare aane to paat kare irdi ke sangar na bhuro. And I pray that your Holy Spirit, na inre kare kare na aane bade lela bade naal na abhi aane bade. We put His finger on anything in our heart that's sin. In o engal bi irdi kare na mukh priyam lade paava aduk kare aduk manal aare yaha bhi aane bade viral niti puri pa shuddhi kar tuvi. I pray that He would touch our minds today. If there are thoughts that we should not have, I pray that He would put His finger on it. And we pray that He would put His finger on it. And we pray that He would put His finger on it. And we pray that He would put His Lord, help us to call sin, sin. Pavatai, pavamindre, ullavadiye, uttukulla, yetukulla, emel dupakku uttukkaru. Dear God, help us to confess our sins today. Indra ke emel dupakukale, veli padayayi, arikki si, emel dupakukale, emel dupakukale. You have promised in your word. Nere emel dupakukale, emel dupakukale, emel dupakukale. That if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Emel dupakukale, 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 emel Mumbai pun ada orang yang kiri, ini bawa ke kurti kiri. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ilah, ni di mingi kita kalu bisuti kiri. And we plead the blood of Jesus today. Ina Yesu bin Prata tadi terlebih tu yang kita jumpi kiri. We ask you to make us whole and to cleanse us, Lord. Aduh, orang yang kita bisuti kiri itu purna perut itu mulu yang 